Ah, Pokemon. One of my favorite game series of all time. Now, currently there are 18 Pokemon types, the newest being Fairy. And, um, I decided, why don't I make a, a list of my favorite Pokemon of each type and my least favorite Pokemon of each type. Because I've seen some other YouTubers do this before, and I'm like, you know what, why don't I, why don't I just, you know, try it out, see what it is. So you probably may agree with my opinion, or you may not. Either way, don't bitch about like a little pussies, like I had in my previous videos. Anyways, let's start at number one, which is going to be the grass type. Alright, so for my favorite grass type, it's going to have to go to Sceptile. Mainly him, because Trico, I'm like, eh, when I first saw it, I was just like, I don't know about it. It kind of looks okay, but I just didn't really like its design. So I never really used it much. Then eventually I decided to use it, and I realized how much I like Sceptile. I also started more appreciating its design more. And damn, Mega Sceptile? When I first saw that, I'm like, hell yeah, that's amazing. Like, it fucking has a giant Christmas tree on its butt that shoots out lasers and shit, and they gave it the best type of all. Fucking dragon, I mean, that's just badass. On the other side of the spectrum, the worst, you got the shitty Snivy family. Uh, you, if you saw my uh, other videos about my top five worst starters, god damn, I hate this thing so much, it's just missed potential, it could've been so much more, it could've been a dragon, instead it's just a shitty snake. Stupid fucking smug ass face. On the fire type. For the fire type, I decided to choose Infernape and Infernape family, because, um, I'm not a too big of a fan of Chimchar, just like with Trico, I didn't like the beginning too much, but Infernape, damn I love this thing, it's so good in battle, and its design is really creative too, I just like how it has white, it's just, it really changed it up, could have been a generic monk, but it's really good, and it's probably one of my favorite starters, and easily my favorite fire starter, so that's why I chose it as the worst. And for my worst, uh, Slugma, I meant Cargo, god these things suck. Like, but Cargo has two quad weaknesses, they're both slow as hell, and they're just- Well, actually, I don't really hate their design too much, but they're just horrible in battle, so I decided to slap them here. Ah, uh, good old water type. My favorite Pokemon of all time is gonna be my favorite water type. Blastoise. Man, ever since I first used this thing, every time- When I first played Pokemon Fire Red, loved it from the start. Good old turtle, just classical and just simple. Just the fact that he has cannons just makes him so badass, and it doesn't even have to be that complicated. That's what I like about Gen 1. So I don't really have much to say that I already haven't said about Squirtle because I've talked to him so much. So let's go to the shitty end of water. Which is going to be Empoleon and Piplup family. God damn, I hate this fucking thing. I hated it a lot more back then before I used it. And plus, Snivy didn't exist back then, which I hate way more now. But Empoleon, I'm just... I think it just looks a little fat, I don't know why, it just doesn't look shaped right. Although I kind of think the design's okay. Pimplup looks horrible, so does Pimplup, their designs just look like shit. And Empoleon's not that good in battle, I mean, he's weak to Infernape, which is pathetic, isn't he supposed to be good against it? And it was just slow, so... It's just mediocre for me. Ah, good old Steel-type, probably one of my favorite types, because there's just so many creative Pokemon in there. And... Gotta choose Metagross, I mean, fuck, this thing is a monster, especially Steven's, that thing makes me fucking rage every time I play that fucking game. Steven always whoops my ass, I have to grind my ass off. But, if you take that power and use it for yourself, you get to be an asshole to every trainer out there. And, Mega Metagross, it's my favorite Mega, so, I love it, it's just badass as fuck. What else is there to say? So, for the worst... God, when I was looking at the list of, like, steel Pokemon, I'm like, hmm, what should be my worst? When I saw this thing, which I actually forgot about, because why the fuck is it Steel-type? Shitty Burmy and Wormadam. It, like, how the fuck is this thing Steel-type? It's garbage. It's a pink pile of shit. It has no stats, no one remembers it, and it's just terrible. Moving on. Dark-type. The darkest of all the types. Okay, that's a little corny. But, for my Dark-type favorite, as you can see, I chose Hydreigon Family. Mainly because of Hydreigon, because I fucking love this thing. Giano's okay, his wild is pretty cool that he splits his head. But Hydreigon, I just love how it has three heads. It just looks so badass, love its color scheme. And... But there is some flaws about it. One, why the fuck does it evolve at level 64? I mean, it's good, but it's not that good. 
and its typing sounds cool as fuck, Dragon Dark, but in reality it does give it a lot of weaknesses, so it isn't the greatest in competitive or battling, so it's mainly just a visual Pokemon. But the worst, oh god, this piece of shit from Gen 5, Purloin Family. This thing is just so generic and just horrible. I remember seeing it everywhere in Gen 5, every trainer I thought, thought I fought had this fucking thing. Even, uh, N. Stupid name, by the way, why the fuck is it called N? And every time, it's like, ooh, this thing must be good. No, it's a piece of shit, I've never even seen it live a hit. Every fucking time I hit it, it dies instantly. One fighting move, this thing's dead. End of story. For normal types, my favorite is going to have to go to the Porygon family. Now, I didn't really care too much about this Pokemon until recently. I decided to use on my team, and I just realized how cool this thing looks. I mean, it's literally a computer program with all these creative things. They're like, oh, it's, well, it's like shitty old program. Let's make it polygonal. And then as it evolves, it gets like smoother, like the computer's upgrading. And Porygon Z, that thing is just a monster in battling. So, and Porygon 2 is a good tank. So yeah, and also this thing was always seen as that really rare hard to get Pokemon with nine 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 coins required to get in the lottery so it always seems really special to be put up that high so that's why i chose it as my number one up here for normal type but the worst dear god this thing sucks ass it just god it looks horrible it looks like a little fucking girl's doll veneery it's like ugh and to make it even worse low punny like what the fuck is this a hooker no really i'm not fucking kidding look i don't see a fucking difference they look like the same thing to me Rock types, one of the most underrated types, mostly because a lot of them are shit, and I can say that too. And some of the dual type because they're just lazy, like rock ground, oh my god, there's way too many of them, and so many of them are just ass common little things. But this one, as you can see, Tyranitar family, fucking monster. It's one of those pseudo legendaries that take forever to level up. God, I hated Pupitar when I first used it in Heartcold. I'm like, is this gonna be worth it? Because I fucking hated that thing. It was so bad. But then Tyranitar came out, screwed the rock ground typing, went for rock dark. Amazing Pokemon, love its design. And it's just so badass. It has so many good movesets it could learn. And I actually like Larvitar too. I like his design, but I never really got to use him. Mega Tyranitar, on the other hand, is also quite nice. I haven't been able to use him yet, but from his stats, he is pretty good, and I like his design. But. There's always a worse type, and I decided instead of going for the generics like the Geodudes and Rhyhorns, the ones that are bad, I decided to go for an even shittier one, Corsola. I mean, this thing has a cool type, Water Rock, which almost started very well with instead of Kabutops, but this thing is boring. It's just a pink fucking coral bitch that has horrible stats and needs a fucking evolution. Maybe if it gets one, I'll appreciate it more, but right now, it's a pile of shit. Flying types. One of the types that pretty much everyone's gonna use throughout their playthroughs because the Fly HM is fucking a necessity next to the Surf HM. So, that means I've used a lot of flying types. I've almost used every single one. It's hard for me to even choose one nowadays because I'm so tired of using them. But I decided to put a newer one that I used a little bit recently on the list Archaeops, because I really didn't give him too much thought when I first heard about him. I kind of just brushed it off because I didn't really care too much about it. But then, when I was making my black team most recently about a year ago, I'm like looking at flying types and I saw this thing. I'm like, ooh, that actually looks kind of cool. It's a fossil. I'm like, I haven't heard much about this. And then I saw its stats. I'm like, oh shit, this thing's amazing. Why is no one else talking about it? And I saw its shit ability, which is really a just a sad thing for us because this thing could be amazing if it was for that ability. But in single player, it, it didn't really hinder it too much. It ended up being a great Pokemon. But, for every good type, there's always a shit Pokemon, and I'm gonna shove in Ladybug. I mean, everyone makes fun of this thing, it sucks. It's so stupid looking, and Lady Inn is even much of an evolution, it still sucks dick. So no one cares about this thing, it can't even learn fly, so fuck it. Bug types. Technically, the worst type, statistically, and there is a shit ton of really really bad Pokemon, like the Caterpies and the Weedles, the things that just suck dick. But they do evolve quickly, which is quite different from the other Pokemon. But, for every shit type, there's always a good Pokemon hidden underneath. And I'm gonna choose Heracross out of a trio of my three favorites, which are actually a trio, you know? 
Pinsir, Scyther, and Heracross, but I decided to use Heracross because he has the best typing. I mean, Scyther is half flying, but he doesn't learn too many flying moves. And Heracross's attack is just fucking insane. This thing shreds bitches like it's nothing. And Mega Heracross, although not too big on its design, that thing ends lives. But, as I said, there are some bad bug types. And this one, oh god, Paris. Now this thing I use all the time for HM slate, which it really is good at, but for battling, fuck no, I would never use this thing. It has two quad weaknesses. Technically, it's not even a quad weakness. It has an octa weakness. Yeah, that's right. A fucking octa weakness to fire because of its shit ability. I mean, that's just sad. Otherwise, don't use this thing. Unless you're using it as an HM slave, don't use it for battling. It's shit at that. Got that? Ready to fight some bitches? Just kidding. It's the fighting type. Now, this type. A lot of people like it for its moves and the Pokemon in it. I like it too. And my favorite, Machamp. This thing is boss. I have some very big nostalgic reasons for this one. And it's just a pretty good Pokemon. I mean, Conquador technically is better, but I have way more in love for Machamp. Because he was one of the first Pokemon I ever used in my first ever play for Fire Red with my Blastoise. And he was just really good. And just I just love the design that he has four arms. Anything with four arms or multiple heads is badass to me. Like Hydreigon and Machamp. So that's why I chose it. But the worst. Oh god. Scraggy and Scrafty, everyone fucking seems to love these pieces of shit. But me, I sure as hell don't. They're horrible. Everyone thinks, ooh, they're so cool because they're gangsters. That's what makes them suck. Who the hell wants a gangster Pokemon? Do they really think they're that cool? I hate gangster people. They think they're so bad, but they're really not. And it has fucking like fake pants. Like it looks so stupid. It's like trying to pull up its shitty pants. I hate baggy pants. I, I always hate people who wear them and act like they're cool. Ugh, just drives me fucking crazy. So I hate Scrafty as well. Ghost types, the spookiest of all the types. Okay, I'm just gonna stop right there. It's not that spooky. Unless you're talking about Lavender Town, which gives people nightmares. Which never really got, but whatever. So, this is a newer contender because I haven't really cared too much about Miss Magus until very recently, about a month ago to now. So, before I really got used to this Pokemon, I just thought it was eh, didn't really care too much about it, till a very recent play for Heart Gold, where I'm like, huh, well I can't get Porygon, who I originally wanted to use, so I used Mistrevious because it was nearby, and then I realized how good this thing actually is. Learns a great amount of moves, isn't really bad from the start because Mistrevious was originally a solo Pokemon, has a quite cool spray if you think about it. It's not that bad. it's pretty badass looking. And its stats aren't even that bad. So that's why I put it up here. Very surprising, I never thought something this new would get up this high. But there's a shitty ghost type right around the corner. The Frillish family. These things, why the fuck are they ghost type? They don't look anything like a ghost type. They look like shit. And the fucking blue evolved one, Jellicent, he looks like a fucking Pringles man. Like, what the hell is that design? They just look like bubbles of shit, and I never want to use them or see them ever again. Here comes the poison types, probably one of the most annoying types of all, with their fucking toxics. But that doesn't mean they're bad. They're fucking amazing. And my favorite, the Zubat family. Now, most say these things are annoying, you always find them a case. I never really got that, I never got bothered by wild encounters, because I always fought every wild encounter is a chance for a shiny, so that makes it a lot more bearable. And plus, you ever heard of fucking repels people? Like, Jesus, are you that broke? Do you suck that much you keep dying? Whatever. Anyways, Zubat and Goldbat are good, but Crobat, that thing is amazing, it flies like a monster, it's so fast, and it learns a great set of moves. So that's why I chose it. But shit poison types. Yeah, there is a few, but I decided to choose a forgettable one, Venonat. And no one remembers this piece of shit, the only reason people mention it is how it should be swapped with the Caterpie family in their evolutions. Other than that, it's a piece of shit and no one ever uses it or talks about it. So, moving on. One of the strongest types, Electric. These things will shock your dick off, okay, maybe not, but basically, Electric type's a good type, and my favorite is Electivire. I mean, 
he is in NU, which I have no idea why he's there. I mean, I know he's not the greatest, but I don't think he's that bad. I think he should be, like, RU or UU, but whatever. When I first used him in Heart Gold, he was pretty damn good. I mean, he wasn't that slow. I mean, Electrovire is slower than Electro Buzz. He learned a great deal of moves, and he could be either special or physical, depending on what you want. And plus, Elekid is just fucking cute, and the fact that you could just plug an Elekid into Electivire, I really want to see that, like a Mega just Elekid plugged into his back. We and they really do need a Mega for it. For the worst, I chose a Molga. I fucking hate this thing. Just another shitty Pikachu clone, like usual, but instead of choosing Minin or Plusle, because they're both... Uh, Pikachu clones that suck, or Dedane, I chose this one because it's so annoying. If you ever played Black and White and went up against the Electric Gym Leader, and then she pulled out these things, ugh, they were so annoying because they had only one weakness to Rock, which really is annoying, and they always used Volt Attack or Volt Switch, which just was annoying, and they just kept switching. So that's mainly why I put them here, they're just annoying as fuck. Psychic types. The best type in Gen 1, but even though they got out nerfed a little, they're still OP as shit. So I decided to choose one of my favorites as Starmie. Not for design, I mean, it's a cool looking Pokemon. I like how kind of an inanimate thing, the ruby looks really nice on it, and that it like doubles. Like Starmie has like two Staries. The main reason I chose it though, this thing's a monster in competitive and just battling in general. It has an amazing moveset with a great type to go along as well. And it's just fast as fuck with an amazing special attack, making it my favorite sweeper in the OU tier. But the worst, god I hate this fucking thing, Del Fox. As in my other list of the top 10 or top 5 worst starters, I chose this thing as number 2. Cause it sucks, I mean, Fedekin and Braxton were okay, but this thing, it's just so much missed potential. It has this ugly ass robe over it, it just looks horrible. I just hate it. Although it's not too bad in battle, it just looks like shit. Fairy type, the newest of all the types, and it's okay to me, but there are some good Pokemon in there, like Togekiss, for example. I liked it a lot before it became fairy type, but making it fairy type made it even better with new moves and new uh, advantages. Mainly, it's a cheap ass Pokemon because of its cheap ability that you could give it with Air Slash, and you could flinch the fuck out of everyone. Plus, it's pretty fast, and it's normal, so it gets- I mean, not normal anymore, well, technically it was normal. So it learns a lot of good moves, and it can learn fly, which is a plus for every Pokemon. And it's just nice and fast, so what else could you want? For the worst, we got Audino, a piece of shit. I mean, it might- it's kind of like a Chansey ripoff, just a normal type that has a lot of HP just used for um, experience. But since it's a ripoff and it looks like shit, and it's useless in battle, that's why it's here. It's a piece of crap, never use it, so, the end. Dragon types. Man, these things are strong as fuck, but usually, her pain has to level up. Like, for example, Haxorus, my favorite one. Now, Haxorus never really struck me too much before I used it about last year for Black. I mean, it was cool on and Shiny's great, but I'm like, I never really thought the need to use it. But then, I decide to give it a chance. And boy, was this thing a beast. First of all, it's unlike other pseudo legendaries, it evolved a little bit quicker than usual, and Fracture was actually usable, unlike Pupitar, which is like unusable as crap. And Haxorus is amazing. It has an amazingly high attack stat, which just destroys everything. It may not be the best pseudo legendary for competitive, but for single player, just one really high attack stat, and you can just one it kill everything. And the worst, the shittiest dragon type of all. Gumi. Now, most dragon types I think are badass and cool, but this one just sucks. And then, I'm like, what the hell is it supposed to be? A pink lob is shit? So everyone's like, okay, maybe it'll become something cool. So you get Sligo, a fucking snail that still looks like shit. I'm like, okay, what's next? Gudra. Piece of shit. End of story. Never want to use it. Looks like crap. Ice types. Technically one of the shittiest, because they don't have much defensive stats, but there's some good ones out there, and plus, they're the best Dragon Slayers, so technically Fairy to beat that. But I still prefer Ice types, because they're just more classical. As you can see, I chose for my favorite, Vanellux. Pretty controversial, most people think Vanellux sucks, because, Ugh, it's an inanimate object, why can't Pokemon be better like in the old days where it didn't do this shit? Well, first of all, you ever looked at Voltorb? 
Yeah, pretty lame. Whatever. But I'm like thinking, I thought everyone liked ice cream, but apparently not this one. Neither way, it's technically just ice. So I don't I don't get it. Either way, what I like about it is vanilla it's cute as fuck. And it's pretty good actually. I mean, well not the best, but good for a nice type. And just it looks really cool actually. I mean who wouldn't want an ice cream Pokemon? I sure as hell wanted it when I first saw it. I'm like, I need this. And one surprise about it. When I had vanilla, so I'm like thinking I guess it's not gonna evolve again. So I was I was pretty happy with it. I'm like, okay, this is good. And then I got surprised and realized Vanilla still existed, and I was happy as shit, because I didn't even, even know there was an evolution. Eh, the worst, Deli Bird. Kind of expected everyone fix this thing sucks. I mean, literally, its move present c could give health to the other op opponent. And its stats are just ass, but it's a funny Pokemon. They probably made it as a joke because it's so bad. So I don't really hate it too much, but it is so bad that it need to be here. And the last type, Round. Technically, this one is a lot better than Rock, and I would agree with that because Earthquake is OP as shit, and there's a lot of good ground types. Like Garchomp, which is an amazing pseudo-legendary. And for once, I like the uh, first evolution, Gibble, because usually I don't really care about the pre-evolution, just the final one. But Gibble is cute as fuck, and Gabite isn't bad either, but Garchomp's the true hero here. Badass design, pretty dang fast, and some great attack stat. And all around a great Pokemon. The Mega is okay, but most people like me don't like it that much, and it actually isn't as good competitively. And the worst, good old upside down exclamation point, Stunfisk. This thing is just, what even is it? It's a pile of shit that's been steamrollered. Nothing much to say, a lot of people have talked about how crappy this thing is, so I don't really need to explain. As with any list, there's going to be a lot of honorable mentions, and this one had a ton. So instead of putting them at the end of every slide of pied, put them all here at the end together. And they are Abominus Snow, Tyrantrum, Charizard, Jinx, Swampert, Greninja, Magnezone, Scyther, Felix, Weavile, and Houndoom. Sorry guys, we were just so close to getting in, but not quite. So anyway, thank you for watching, please leave a like and subscribe because this video took a long time to make, probably my longest video yet, and I would appreciate the support. See ya.